Hello, Pisces. I am Jade, the Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, hi, I'm Jade, this is Star, Moon, and Sun Tarot. Pisces, I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this. All right, so this is going to be a read for Pisces. Whether you have it in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers are welcome. It's going to be a love reading. Oops. And it's going to be for my singles or separates, okay? So if you're single or if you are in separation, separated from someone specific, we're going to try to look at new energies coming in or anyone you might have your eye on or that has their eye on you, okay? This is the <clears throat> Starseed Oracle. Let's see what comes out, please. Angel Spirits, Guides, Guardians, Hopes, Members, Ancestors. Oh, already. You got the love. Hadrian Energy. All right, this talks a little bit about codependency and boundaries. I just want to see what it says in the book. I feel like it's a good. It's good. <laughs> All right. So this, uh, yeah, Hadrian Energy, Codependency Boundaries. The Hadrians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love who see love in all people and situations. As a result, they can find it hard to have boundaried and interdependent healthy relationships. Whoops, the card's sliding off as I'm reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, they only see the unconditional nature of those they meet. The lovers of the cosmos, they dive in fast. Yeah, Pisces. You're my little fishies, right? Dive in deep. They're here to learn how to love while in a separate body. They learn how to, to learn self-love first and then establish healthy relationships. To remember they love they seek is already within them. That they truly do have all the love on their own. Uh, the message of this card is to review the ways you may need to establish healthier boundaries. Um, perhaps you've been in codependent relationships. You're losing a sense of yourself. Um, it's common for star seeds, if you resonate with that turn, if you proscribe to that, to dive deep into relationships, particularly with those who feel safe and familiar at a soul level. Wow. There might be a relationship where you give more than you receive. All right. This card is assigned to do a relationship re review and see what energetic agreements you've made, consciously or unconsciously. Uh, make sure any new relationships, new energies, you're making sure your boundaries are clear. Um, I, you know, everybody loves love. It's a lovely, lovely, loving idea. And love is amazing. It's powerful. It's everything, you know, but at the same time, you know, you have to have boundaries and personal space and all that. If you are, if you know, because this singles are separate. So if you're in separation from somebody, use those law of attraction. Use that law of attraction, okay? Um, you can't chase something and give it all your energetic attention, all right? Because it just runs from you. You got to uh, be busy, have fun, be happy, you know? Ooh, they don't want to shuffle. All right, they might be done. They're ready. What's on the bottom? Ooh, the sun! I love this! Mm, that's so good! I'm putting that over here. Right by my sunstone. Okay. Yeah, two of swords. I feel like if you're at the stalemate energy, you could be coming out of it. Alright, show me what I need to see, please. Angels, spirits, guides, guides, council members, ancestors, for Pisces, for the highest good. Show me clearly. There's one. Oh my god, the world. You are, you guys are beginning or ending big new cycles. You might be traveling. Somebody might be at a distance from you. All right, two of wands, yeah. Two of wands is a decision in passion. So you're definitely gonna be making passionate decisions or someone is making them about you, Pisces. Hold on here. All right. Wow. Queen of Swords. Six of Wands. Sorry, this is Victory. Queen of Swords. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, but it doesn't have to be. This could be you being very discerning, right? The Queen of Swords, she is careful what and who she cuts. She is defensive. 
but she's discerning, right? Discernment. I just want to get a whole little picture here and really start talking about different, yeah, five of swords. All right, so. Yeah, there's might be uh, some type of uh, past uh, arguing, fighting. Four of Wands is on the bottom. That's that, you know, home stability. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Six of Coins. All right, this could be equal give and take. This could be that communication coming in. The Sun. We got the Ten of Coins and the Five of Cups. They were kind of sideways here, all right? I feel like, you know, the Ten of Coins is like that abundance, that happy family in the 3D. You feel like there was a missed opportunity or somebody does here. The five coming under the five coming under the two. All right, I'm gonna get one more card. One more card, yeah, Queen of Cups. Coming out sideways. You might be choosing between two or this could be you, okay? Genders uh, don't really matter in a collective reading, okay? So this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? This could be your energy, could be someone's energy. And this is Queen of Swords here. So with the world, um, all the fixed signs are on here. All right, so it's Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. But the world is, you know, beginnings and endings, um, it's expansion, it's um, completion. So something important has ended or a beginning, or even if it's, you know, endings are new beginnings, okay? Two of Wands is a decision and passion, and the Six of Wands is victory. You want victory. Someone wants victory. All right, and then there's the Queen of Swords coming out with the Five of Swords, which is, you know, conflict fighting, could be arguing, um, and swords are air energy, they're thoughts, okay, so if there's a past, uh, person here, past connection, you know, they could be thinking about this, and maybe there wasn't equal give and take, all right, but the, somebody wants equal give and take, the sun here, this is a really positive card, okay, it, it's the, it's the card of, um, Leo as well, um, but it's also like all signs, all energy, all right? Yes, so that's what we got so far. I'm going to, the, with the Ten of Coins, there's, I feel like you guys feel like there's a missed opportunity for this. Um, maybe you're making a choice between a water sign and an air sign. Somebody could make a, be making a choice between you guys and another sign, or this is all you, assuming both the air and the cup energy, the swords and the cups, being discerning, being careful. Yeah, but I feel like there is going to be communication. With this coming up over this, the six and the six, we got the two to the six, five to a six, different suits, but... There's going to be movement. Something's going to happen here. I'm going to clarify with the Intuit. The Norman. Okay, let's see. Angel Spirits Guides, Guardians. Show me what I need to see for Pisces, please, for the highest good. Oh, it's, it's actually shuffling. Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. It was shuffling really much better for you guys than it was for the other signs. They've been getting stuck. I feel like things might... Oh, the geese. Look what's on the bottom. They're on a quest. You're on a quest. Something cyclical, faithful. Let's, just, let's see. So show me more about this world, please. Angel Spirit. Show me what I need to see clearly. The highest good, please. For Pisces, show me about the world. What? Oh, that's so many. Mm, oh my gosh, oh, you guys. All right, so we got the strength card, which is Leo again, out a third time on the table here. 
Oh, we got the bouquet, which is happy reconciliation. There might be some complicated circumstances, all right? But with the moon, this is like intuition, recognition, the divine feminine, like, ah, it's good. It's good, 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 good. Okay, ah, all right. Show me about this two of wands. What's this decision about? Okay, so it's the book. So you're trying to figure this out. You're trying to, you know, uh, use your, your intellect. You're trying to f figure stuff out. Things might be um, seen or uh, not known yet. Everything. Well, yeah, because like the other singles are in separation. So you might not be speaking to this person, but I feel like if you're not, you're going to be. What about this six of wands? Blah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, look, it literally says separation. Yep, this is about separation or estrangement. All right. So whether it's new energy or you're separated, I mean, that's what we're talking about. Show him the six of wands. What's this victory about? Okay. So you're coming out of, the victory is coming out of this uh, fatigue and worry and st with the mice here and coming into a state of equilibrium, okay? Into being more harmonious and self-aware. Anything else about the victory? Okay, here's the star. This is like wishes coming true. It's also the sign of Aquarians, but it, Aquari Aquarius. Did I just say Aquarians? That's weird. Aquarians. Where did I get that? Hmm. Okay. Hmm, yeah. Something that has died or is inactive. But why is there victory then? Oh! Because wishes are coming true. That's the victory. Something that died might be coming back to life, you guys. All right, show me this Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords about? And we got Aquarius out twice, Leo out twice. Or no, Leo out three times. Ooh, the Chariot. The Chariot. This is the sign of Cancer. Steady forward movement, Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is getting, you know, centered, meditating, feeling complete with this Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're being discerning, you're feeling good, you're moving forward. What's this Five of Swords, though? What's this Five of Swords? That one wanted to come. Hold on here. Yeah, somebody may have been uh, fierce, possessive. That's why the Five of Swords, because, you know, yeah, you're, you're figuring this out. Something was very unpredictable in the path, but you're finding your true north here. That's why you're moving from the five to the six. Did a card fly on the floor? I'm looking around. I swear I heard something else fly. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. All right. Show me the six of coins, please. Ooh. Ooh, okay. There could be communication here. This is also the, the mother. This is giving and receiving. Well, no, it's giving, giving, stability, fulfillment. So, um, you might be getting communication, giving communication. Destiny, divine guidance is coming through. What's the sun about? Maybe the communication's going to be about a baby, about a mother. Moose. The moose is calm, cool, and collected. Attitude is everything. What else about the sun? Woo. Okay. Notice I was just asking about the sun. All right. So sun can be Leo energy. It can be anyone energy. 
could also be divine masculine energy, okay? Because we have the divine feminine come out over here as the moon. Both of these cards, independent, stand alone, time alone. This time alone is bringing things to light for somebody, illuminating anything else. Yeah, there's the albatross. They might feel some shame or regret. Maybe if they feel burdened by something. But it's also a good sign or omen, okay? Ooh, oh, geez, what the heck? That was too many. Too many. Too many, too many, too many. We're going to put them back in. It was like six. What's flipped up here? Uh, all right. I just want to make sure. I don't want to take too many and get too confused here. All right. Here we have this ten of coins. This victory again. Victory twice. If this is resonating and um, this is making sense, <laughs> you're going to have victory. There's a, a, an opportunity. What? Yeah. Here's the church. Um, this is like, you know, because the Ten of Coins is like that happy family. They're in the 3D. It's abundant. And the church can be marriage. It could be that family values. Um, oh, this tried to flip. Fate, karma, cycles. It's destined. Show me about this Five of Cups. Why are they crying over the spilt milk? What's up? With this missed opportunity. The lion. Okay, so how many symbols for Leo do we do we have? Uh, four now. Okay, just saying. Could be dealing with Leo. Um, someone is uh, getting very heart-centered here. Um, your pride or ego may have gotten in the way. Or someone's did. Ah, maybe the, uh, this person's did. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's the waterfall. This is tears of sorrow or joy. Release. But it's also fulfillment. You might be releasing. I feel like some of you released something that's coming back to you now. Show me the Queen of Cups. Whoa. Wow. So the fish is... You know, money, finances. What else flew out? It was the raccoon, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune already came out, or did it? No. These four came out. So, the Queen of Cups is also a problem solver. You might be an entrepreneur. These are both about resources, being very resourceful. All right? You might be um, mar in marketing, publicity, networking. All right? You're getting a lot of exposure. And here the wheel is turning. Anything else? Oh. I don't know if I just dropped that or... Hold on. Okay. Yeah. With the loons here, this is like a deep, deep commitment and uncommon bonds. You're having lucid dreams... You're re reawakening um, lost hopes, starting to trust. Uh, I'm expecting readings where like, yeah, you're going to be looking at all these dates. And I feel like for some of you, this is, yeah, this is about like a really strong uh, soulmate twin flaming. You might be taking this leap of faith. Be easy going. So what, you know? Yeah, you got to worry about your own self-interest. Um, watch out for anything that feels wrong or like a trap here. There's a chance here for a new beginning with the maiden. All right. More enchantment and expansion. And the grasshopper, you know, this is, wow. 
the grasshopper is is leap of faith, easy going. It's prosperity. There's a lot of prosperity here, and I, I feel like if you have specific uh, interest in your past, you definitely probably have an opportunity with uh, Leo, uh, Aquarius. Let me see what else we have out here. So we got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got the sign of Leo like four times. We got Aquarius twice, and we got. Yeah, because, the, well, the world is all the fixed signs. So, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, um, Scorpio. Wow. Pretty amazing. Um, I don't think this is uh, going to be a bad outcome. You've got some options coming in. And if there's uh, someone specific, I feel like there's opportunities here. All right. That maybe uh, being in separation for a little while is bringing things to light. And it's going to move the situation along. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, you've got the wheel turning in your favor. It might just take a little bit of time, all right? So thank you for watching, Pisces. Uh, I hope to see you back next time. And, uh, yeah, lots of luck and love to you all. Uh, see you next week. Bye. If this resonated, like, share, comment, subscribe.